I heard that you want to beat the hard mode and end game challenges and of course it needs proper preparations. I will be showing you one of the fastest ways to earn tons of XP to reach a level 50 cap and a good amount of gil and finally loads of AP for your materia needs that will greatly speed up your materia maxing progress so be sure to stick around till the end. If you are interested in straight to the point guides, tips and tricks like this one, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon so you will not miss every single FF7R guide that I will be releasing every week. Help the channel by liking the video and it helps us more than you can imagine. With that out of the way, let's dive into it. First, here's my suggested build so you can farm with ease and do run swiftly. And for UV, still Reaper for the main weapon due to its high physical attack, API passive skill and a good amount of material slots. Boomerang is also a good choice in here and for the armor I cannot stress how important this is. Having a ninja armlet is required for its double AP passive buff for every material slotted into it. Kindred Cord is the one that I use for accessory to reduce the ATB cost of UVs and so on synergized abilities resulting in more DPS. For the materials required, equip the Ninja Cannonball Materia to fill Sonnen's ATB in no time, first strike materia for ATB charges and finally AP up materia for more AP gains. And the Ninja Armlet and AP up materia by the way stacks so be sure to place them on the link slot along with the materia that you want to receive the most AP as possible like the Magic up materia that I have in here. For Sonnen, Marshall staff for more materia slots and good stats in general. I can find any staff that has AP passive skill in it so Marshallis was the way to go in my situation. Fallout Armlet that triples the AP that a Materia can gather. The trade off is you can only put one Materia at a time compared to the Ninja Armlet. Gozu Drive for more DPS especially if Sonon has a lot of HP and another first track Materia for more ATB charges. While you decide what materials that you want to gain AP and level up into the rest of the free slots for both Sonon and Yuffi and take advantage of as many materials as possible. You know the drill in here. Now for the battle skills, follow my setup in here and every item that I mentioned above was linked down in the description section below for the location so be sure to check that out. Now that you are ready, head on to the spot and to do the runs. Completing the main storyline for Yuffie and Sonon is one of the requirements for you to access the battle simulator in Chapter 2. After doing so, Chapter Selection will be available and once you get in, you will notice that the simulator is now unlocked and you can jump right in. Select Yuffie and Sonon versus the Midgarian monsters and this will be your main spot for the whole run. Set the difficulty to easy and prepare for battle. The first match is swarm of boogaboos that are easy to take out, throw UV star and spam element attacks, and definitely finish the round in no time with no sweat at all. The second match needs a few commands at the start of battle, synergize them, target Levricon and cast Sonon's Whirling Storm, following Refire Ninjutsu by Yuffie and start spamming elemental attacks. Levricon will break right away and cast Synergize Art of War to kill both targets hopefully. I like the third and final match in here, you will be dealing with the type 0 behemoth. Synergize at the start of battle, cast Swirling Storm to its lower body and cripple it, use the Fire Ninjutsu or cast Art of War to damage its upper torso, this will stagger the beast once again, leave at least one ATB charge to destroy its horns with one fell swoop and after that go in for the kill. If done correctly, the behemoth will have no chance to fight back and meet its death. After beating all the rounds, get your rewards and do the runs over and over and you will eventually hit the level 50 cap before you know it and earn tons of AP to max out your precious materials. Each run lasts 1 minute and 30 seconds, loading times included and it can be much faster if optimized. If you are curious how much you are getting per material slot, that's 90 to 204 AP for slots affected by the AP from your weapon alone. 276 to 312 AP if weapon AP up is applied and placed on a fallen armlet slot. Lastly, a whopping 368 to 416 AP for the slot affected by the following elements, AP multipliers from your weapon, ninja armlet, and AP up materia. On the other hand, you get 3370 XP per run and while for the gil, you can earn 2500 gil as a reward and mega potions that you can sell for thousands of gil. 
improve the builds that I have in here to your liking and get better results than mine. What is important is you get the base idea on how to do it and the more materials you can level in each run, the more time you can save. EXP up materia is not required for this run on the other hand in my opinion since you will be hitting the level 50 cap in a short amount of time. You should be focusing on the material maxing instead, EXP, SP, and Gil will follow along with it. And that's pretty much all for this guide and let me know if there will be better spots out there or more solid strats. Let us talk about it in the comments below so everyone can check it out. You can join our discord server for more gaming discussions as well and if you find this guide helpful, liking the video sure helps a lot by a long mile and subscribing to the channel. Hit that bell icon to not miss future uploads and thanks for watching. For more FF7R content, keep it locked here at JRPG Samurai. Stay awesome and safe and I'll catch you on the next one.